Hello everybody, welcome back to another Mid-Journey version 5.1 tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to use Mid-Journey for interior design. Now I'm going to state up front that I am not an interior designer, but you can use Mid-Journey in various prompts to get really great ideas for different styles. If you're redecorating your home, or if you're not sure kind of what kind of you want to try out a few different styles, a few different looks, and you don't want to go shopping for them, and you don't want to go into the stores, well, this is one hell of a way to do it. In this video, I'm going to show you a few things. I'm going to show you how to uh, a couple of different styles. So there's a whole bunch of different styles. I'll give you a list of about 30 of them in the description below, although only I'll show you like eight or 10 here. There's also different themes. So you can have like a boy's bedroom in a cartoon style. It's thematic. And I'm also going to show you how to, uh, you know, you know, not mimic, but, you know, design around a specific designer. So in this case, we have India Madavi. He's really well known for, or she, I'm not sure actually if it's a man or woman, but well known for their use of color and ceramics and stuff like that. So how you can do all of those things. And let's just go right through it step by step here. So I'm going to start off down here. Pardon me. Let's just slow the roll here. We're going to go off with Nordic. So the first style I want to show you is Nordic. And here it is. Here's a quick look at it. So this looks nice and, <laughs> nice and Icelandic. <laughs> but, uh, you know, to get this, all you got to do is forward slash imagine. And then the prompt is interior design of a living room, comma, Nordic style, blue and white, dash dash AR 16.9, which means aspect ratio 16.9. Do note that, of course, all of these prompts and many, many more will be in the description below. The second one here is a Bauhaus or a Bohemian style, actually. Pardon me. This is the Bohemian version. And here it is. Interior design of a living, of a living room, comma, Bohemian style, aspect ratio 16.9. Same kind of thing. This is an Art Deco style. I love that image. And then here we go. I'm going to show you a new thing. This is a thematic style. So instead of being like Art Deco, this is a Disney and cartoon style. So how did we do this? Let's look at the image first. This is awesome. Really, really cool. The prompt is forward slash imagine interior design of a room for a baby boy, pastel color, blue and white Disney diorama, comma, cartoon aspect ratio 69. Here's another one. This is an Alice in Wonderland bathroom. And if you want to like, you know, you want to make it like a specific style like Alice in Wonderland or maybe you want like a Tim Burton movie or something like that. Who knows? All you got to do is interior design of a bathroom, comma, in the style of Alice in Wonderland, comma, dreamy, breathtaking, beautiful sunlight. And it gives you something awesome like this. The last one that I alluded to at the beginning here is you can actually create ideas based on specific designers. So in this case, I've got India Madavi. Now, India is known as the virtuoso of color and a possessor of perfect chromatic pitch, apparently, <laughs> as both an architect and designer. Hey, awesome. So the prompt to get this style here in India's, in India's style, pardon me, is forward slash imagine the most Instagram bar in the world, comma, designed by India Madavi, comma, Vivid Ceramics AR169. So there you go. These are just some examples, and this is how you use Midjourney for uh, interior design. I've got a ton of prompts in the description as well as some more images. If you have any questions, let me know. Thanks for watching.